I kind of had to learn the hard way, and I'm very blessed to have lived through it. You won't believe what Lisa Nicole Carson had to endure in her battle with bipolar disorder while under the unforgiving spotlight of Hollywood. From being blacklisted for being difficult to the media's relentless character assassination. Her journey is one for the books. Stick around as I unravel the truth behind why Hollywood kicked her out. So, I left. Hi everyone and welcome back to Celeb Live Channel. I've got an explosive story lined up for you today. This one hits differently, folks. I'm taking a deep dive into the life of the talented Lisa Nicole Carson, known for her roles in Ally McBeal and Air. The question is, what really happened? Why did Hollywood slam its doors on her? And what does it have to do with her battle with mental illness? You know, there's a saying, when you hit rock bottom, the only way left is up. But imagine doing that dance, not once, not twice, but over 20 times. It's because I want people to understand that not only did I hit rock bottom, I hit rock bottom like 20 times. Ooh, it's hard to wrap our minds around the weight of those words. So what got Lisa on this tumultuous roller coaster? Well, the streets are talking and they've got their theories. Some say it's all down to a cocktail of mental illness and addiction. Others whisper about her finances dwindling down to pennies, pushing her to the fringes of Hollywood. And then there's that audacious rumor, you know, the one about bestiality, wild, I know. But remember, this is the same Lisa we've adored, dazzling, radiant, and with hair goals for days. Now, stepping away from the whispers for a moment, let's talk facts. If you've ever indulged in the world of entertainment, you'd recognize Lisa in a heartbeat. Take off my hat because I've been given specific instructions to take off my no, hat. No, you can wear the hat. And to show America that this is no weave. From lighting up the screen in hits like Ally McBeal and her to delivering memorable performances in Love Jones, Eve's Bayou, and Devil in a Blue Dress, Lisa's been the glue in so many narratives. It's interesting to me. Right. Um, right now I'm having a great time, so. It's cool. She might not have always been the lead, but trust those stories wouldn't have half the soul without her. But Hollywood, as we all know, ain't always the dream it's made out to be. For every fairy tale ending, there are tales of trials, tribulations, and tears. Lisa's career, regrettably, wasn't just roses and ovations. While some celebs sail smoothly from one hit to another, Miz, Carson has had to navigate some choppy waters in Tinseltown. All right, diving deeper into Lisa Nicole Carson's Hollywood journey. It's clear the Sea of Stars has both its dazzling highs and pitch, black lows. And boy, did those lows come in waves for our girl Lisa. Remember those unsettling rumors that had everyone buzzing? The whispers about her alleged encounter with a canine for a role? It's enough to make your jaw drop, the tragic part, even after committing to such an outrageous act. They didn't even give her the part. The industry bigwigs, they just cackled away, leaving her humiliated. Such incidents have painted her in a controversial light, with many folks questioning their sympathies for her subsequent challenges. But let's be real, Hollywood's rumor mill turns faster than butter at a country fair. One particularly juicy bit has it that post her dazzling Ally McBeal days, Lisa had a shocking stint as a waitress. Can you believe it? From the glitz of the screen to serving up fries, according to a fan whose taste for burgers is only matched by their thirst for tea, they bumped into Lisa, who poured out her heart. She lamented about not banking any of her $2 million Ally McBeal paycheck, thinking the Money River would never run dry. But alas, the show ended, and so did her cash flow. Add to this a cocktail of house issues during the recession and an alleged powder addiction. It's a tragic spiral. Lisa supposedly swapped the expensive stuff for cheaper alternatives when the going got tough. Plus, her personal life, far from rosy. Tales of boyfriend drama and even some family disputes over money and trust had come to light. But folks, let's sprinkle a little salt on these tales, especially the burger joint confessions. It's hard to believe someone would spill all that while flipping patties, yet the plot thickens. Whispers about a Jamaican beau pulling her deeper into the abyss began circulating. Some say he was the last straw in her descent. But again, how much truth lies here? Hollywood loves its mysteries, and Lisa's story is just one of its enigmatic chapters. But the plot doesn't end there. While Lisa's roller coaster ride with Hollywood had its share of twists and turns, one of the major challenges that shook her world was her bipolar disorder diagnosis. I had managed to uh, keep it under wraps. Everyone knew Lisa as the vivacious soul of the party, her infectious energy lighting up sets, and her antics warming hearts. But here's where the drama intensifies. While many laughed off her spirited nature, as just classic Lisa, a keen eyed producer from Ur, had his antennas up. Given he'd seen a family member sail the turbulent seas of bipolar disorder, he voiced his concerns to Lisa. But much like any dramatic twist, our leading lady shrugged it off. That was until the bombshell breakdowns of 97 and 2000. Ring any bells? Oh, you bet. That 2000 episode was the talk of Tinseltown after Lisa landed in the hospital. For a while, but I had um, 
an episode in, in New York at a hotel and it got leaked out to the press. Imagine being in the midst of catching up with pals in the Big Apple and then bam, an unexpected episode hits. Lisa opened the lid on that night in an essence chat, describing a scene of chaos in her hotel room with shouts, tears, and flying objects, so intense that the hotel crew had to ring in the ambulance. But what followed was the game changer. After her hospital stint, a doc pinned her with a bipolar diagnosis. Yet, in true Hollywood cliffhanger style, Lisa wasn't buying it. She confesses, I was stunned and clueless, and so was my family. I didn't want to believe I had any mental health issues and went into denial. I was supposed to take medicine, and I didn't. It took a series of life on the line episodes for her to face the music. She states, I'm animated and exuberant, and this made it difficult to determine what was my normal and what was actually odd behavior. And so, our ever resilient Lisa rose again, like a phoenix from the ashes, dusted herself off, and trotted back onto the Ally McBeal set. She recalls, Upon being discharged, I returned to Los Angeles and went back to work on Ally McBeal, feeling more in control. Somehow, I just fought my way back. The crew seemed to welcome her with open arms, but here's the heartbreaker, folks. Despite her comeback, her contract didn't see a renewal for the final season. Lisa reveals, nobody gave me an explanation, but I assumed it had to do with what had happened. I was devastated. The gossip machine churned out speculations about her past episodes playing a part in this decision, leaving fans and Lisa herself shattered. Remember the whispers about Lisa's exit from her? Word on the street was that her unpredictable behavior, which culminated in a bizarre episode where she pranced around the set in her birthday suit, was the last straw for the showrunners. They chose to give her character, Carla Reese, the boot rather than swap her out. Some believe this echoes her ally McBeal exit. To add salt to the wound, the media wolves pounced on her as soon as her struggles became public knowledge. I didn't want to take any medication. I was still trying to go to work. I was just always frantic that I would get sick again. But Lisa's narrative didn't end there. In 2004, she experienced another breakdown, surpassing her past ones in severity. In a candid chat with people, she shared that this breakdown was the closest she came to seeing her life crumble to dust. But the silver lining, she cites this period as the dawn of her final battle with the illness. It was then she decided her life had to take a backseat for her well-being. She vowed to take her meds and arm herself to the teeth to fight her illness. The best part, Lisa decided to shed her silence and share her journey with the world. She confesses, I never wanted to breathe a word about what happened to me, but I've had a change of heart. She hoped to serve as a beacon of hope for those sailing similar rough seas, saying, it's rare for someone who has something as severe as I've had to come out the other side. But I'd like to let people know that you can, you can get to the other side. A powerful testament indeed to Lisa's sheer grit and courage. But the hurdles didn't stop there for Lisa. Just think about it. On top of wrestling with her mental health, she got tagged by Hollywood as the troublesome one. Now, we've all heard of certain big shots in Tinseltown known for their tantrums, right? But Lisa, she wasn't throwing fits out of whim. She was in the throes of a serious condition. But did that make headlines? Nah. Instead, headlines splashed with the media, dragging her through the mud, often painting her episodes in the ugliest colors. Picture Lisa taking a moment to scroll online, only to be smacked in the face with memes, jokes, and keyboard warriors labeling her nuts. Ouch. Yet, instead of succumbing to the shadows, our girl Lisa decided to flip the script. It became pretty evident that I, this was something that I had to take care of to save my life. So while some might see her story as a tale of woe, Lisa chose to frame it differently. Steering clear of the sob story trope, she boldly declared, I don't look at my life as tragic. I look at my life as miraculous. Now that's the spirit. How's that for a comeback? So there you have it, folks. From an actress at the peak of her career to a woman battling the stigma of mental health, Lisa Nicole Carson's story is as heartrending as it is inspiring. It's a clear reminder that even under the glitzy lights of Hollywood, stars are humans too, fighting their own battles away from the cameras. Lisa's story underscores the harsh reality of mental health struggles in an industry known for its superficial glamour. Even as she waged war against her mental health condition, she found herself contending with Hollywood's unforgiving labeling and the brutal media narrative. Yet, with her remarkable strength, she turned her life around, choosing to see her journey not as tragic, but as miraculous. What do you think, folks? How did Lisa's story affect you? Do you think Hollywood and the media need to change how they handle stars' mental health issues? I'd love to hear your thoughts, so drop your comments below. Thank you all for tuning in and joining me on this wild ride through the fascinating world of celebrity rumors. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and smash that like button and smash that like button. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss out on the latest updates. Until next time, stay curious, stay entertained, and keep those comments coming. Peace out.